Go ahead and copy these notes down as we go through this. Today is going to be exponents day three, power to a power. For the rule on power to a power, you're gonna see that you're gonna have the exponent on the outside of the parentheses, you're gonna distribute, and you're gonna multiply anything on the inside of the parentheses. So, you will multiply exponents to each term in the parentheses. That is gonna be the rule for today. Let's simplify. Example number one, x squared raised to the third power. You multiply your exponents, so it's x squared times three which is x to the sixth power. Multiply. Two times three is six. That's your exponent. Number two, before you begin, you divide each, you separate each term. b to the fourth, y to the third. It's gonna be five times four, five times three. Multiply. b to the fourth times five, y to the third times five, and you multiply your exponents. This simplifies to b to the 20th power, y to the 15th power, and this is your answer. There's no simplifying further. Next one, you have to identify the exponent. x to the first power, y to the first power. Now you're gonna distribute that five and multiply it to each exponent inside. So you're multiplying your exponents. So this is x to the first power times five, y to the first power times five. So your final answer should be x to the fifth power, y to the fifth power. You multiply. Number four. Number four has a coefficient in front. These were just variables. Single variable, distribute to the single variable. Two variables, distribute to both. Variable with exponents of one, you still distribute and multiply. Here you have a constant. So you have two x squared to the third power. All of this is raised to the third power. Two to the first power means you're gonna take the exponent three and multiply it. Multiply your exponents. Not two, three times two. It's an exponent, so you multiply the exponents. So you have two exponent one times exponent three. X exponent two times exponent three. So you simplify that. Two to the first times three, so two to the third. X two times three, six. You need to simplify all your numbers. So if you take two, Exponent three, you need to simplify that. Eight, so two to the third power simplifies to eight x to the sixth power. And now you're done. Here, you're done. Simplify numbers. You simplify two to the third to eight. Next, number five, you have negative three exponent one x exponent one. So you distribute this three to each term. Again, you multiply your exponents. So multiply exponents. Negative threes in parentheses, exponent three because you multiply x exponent three. Now you just simplify, so you take parentheses, negative three, exponent three. So caret symbol three, enter. When you do that, you get negative 27. So this simplifies to negative 27 x to the third power. Always simplify your numbers. Next, number six, you have four exponent one x squared y exponent one, z to the third, 
all of this is raised to the second power. So I'm going to distribute 2 to exponent 1, 2 to exponent 2, 2 to exponent 1, and 2 to exponent 3. You multiply your exponents. So it's 4 exponent 2. X exponent 4. 2 times 2 is 4. Y exponent 1 times 2. 2. Z exponent 3 times 2. 6. Now the only other thing you have to do is simplify your number. So 4 squared is 16. If you don't know, you can grab the calculator. So you can take 4 exponent 2. 4 exponent 2 is 4 times 4, 16. So this simplifies to 16, x to the 4th, y squared, z to the 6th. You multiplied all of your exponents. Number 7. On 7, you have a number on the outside. When there's a number on the outside, you just bring it straight down and you deal with it at the end. You only distribute the exponent to each term inside the parentheses. So th negative 3 exponent 1, you multiply with 2. Ne e to the first power, you multiply by 2. Multiply only inside parentheses. So here you bring down the 2, and then you take the exponent. You take negative 3 exponent 1 times 2, 2. You take e exponent 1 times 2, 2. Now all you have to do is simplify and put this piece, put numbers in calculator. You can always put numbers in your calculator. So go to your calculator. I'm going to clear this. And you're going to see 2, exactly the way it is on your paper, parentheses, negative 3, close your parentheses, and then exponent 2. So it looks exactly the way it is on your paper. Press enter and it's 18. Negative 3 squared is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. So 18e squared. And you're done. You put numbers in your calculator. Every time you can, you put them in your calculator. That's how we get 18. Number 8. Again, 5x is on the outside of the parentheses, so you bring it straight down. Anything on the inside of the parentheses, you distribute the exponent. So 2 exponent 1, you multiply it with 3. x squared, you multiply with 3. So multiply your exponents only in the parentheses. So you're going to take 2 in parentheses. Exponent 1 times 3 is 3. X in parentheses, exponent 2 times 3 is 6. Now you simplify. So you're going to take your numbers. 5 times 2 cubed. 5 times 2 cubed. X has an exponent of 1 and X has an exponent of 6. So 5 times 2 cubed, I can put in my calculator. 5, parentheses 2, exponent 3. That simplifies to 40. 2 cubed is 8, 8 times 5 is 40. So it's not 5 times 2, it's 5 times 2 cubed. This is 40, and then here I need to apply the rule. This says I will add my exponents, and we learned that from the day before. Like bases, when you multiply, you add your exponents. 40x to the seventh, and this is your answer. That's the simplified form. 40 comes from five times two cubed. X to the seventh comes from your like base. You add the exponents. Number nine, you have three x squared y to the fifth, there's nothing being raised to this, so all of this first piece can come straight down. 
So 3x squared y to the fifth. But the second piece is negative 2 to the first, x to the first, y to the third, and all of that's being raised to the third power. So I'm going to distribute and I'm going to multiply 3 times exponent 1, 3 times exponent 1, and 3 times 3. You multiply your exponents. So here I'm taking a negative 2, and when I distribute, that's an exponent of 3. I'm taking x to the first power times 3, x cubed. Taking y to the third power times 3, that's y to the ninth. Now I'm going to simplify. My numbers I can multiply and my variables, I find that they, it's multiplication, so I would add the exponent. So I can bring 3 here. I can bring this negative 2 cubed here together. So 3 in parentheses, negative 2 cubed. And now I just bring down all the variables. I bring down x squared. I bring down y to the fifth. I bring down x cubed, and I bring down y to the ninth. Now I just simplify and find all the like terms. So looking at this piece, I can put numbers in my calculator. So numbers can go in my calculator. This can go in my calculator all together. So I'm going to take 3 3 parentheses negative 2 exponent 3 negative 24 negative 2 cubed is negative 8 negative 8 times 3 is negative 24 so this piece is negative 24 and then x to squared and x to the third I need to add the exponents so x to the fifth and then y to the fifth, y to the ninth, I add them too. So y, five plus nine is 14. This is the answer that simplifies. So again, always make sure that you simplify using all of the rules. If there's a negative, move it from the top to the bottom. If there's a zero, anything to the zero power is equal to one. And multiplication, you add your exponents. Number 10 is a word problem, so it says to find the area of the rectangle. Area is length times width. So here you're going to take 8m cubed, all of that is squared, times 4x squared, m to the fourth. So you simplify. Here. The exponent 8, exponent 1, you're going to distribute squared and multiply the exponent, multiply the exponent. All of this will just come straight down and we simplify at the end. So 8 exponent 2, 1 times 2 is 2, m, 3 times 2 is 6, and then you just bring all of this down. This is going to be 4x squared m to the fourth power. Now you take the numbers. You can take 8 squared times 4. So you're taking 8 squared times 4. Then you have m to the sixth x squared m to the fourth. You're still not done. You still need to simplify. Put this piece in your calculator to simplify. So take your calculator and you're going to take 8 exponent 2 and then you need to arrow out of that parentheses 4. 8 exponent 2 parentheses 4 is 8 squared times 4, 256. So 256 m to the 6th m to the fourth have like bases and you add your exponent. So m to the tenth power and then x squared is by itself. So it just goes at the end. This is the area for that problem. Always simplify. Next problem. 11. 
find the volume of the cube whose side measure is negative 9kx to the third. So volume equals side cubed. This is the side. So all I need to do is take this entire side, negative 9k x to the third, and all of that has an exponent of 3. Same thing here. So I'm going to distribute the exponent to each term inside the parentheses and multiply. So now I have volume equals negative 9 in parentheses cubed, 1 times 3 is 3, k cubed, 1 times 3 is 3, x to the third times 3, 9. Now I just need to simplify the numbers. So put this piece in my calculator, and that's going to be in parentheses negative 9 and then exponent 3, negative 729. So volume equals negative 729 k to the third, x to the ninth, and these are not like bases, so you're done. This is the volume. And the last problem, number 12. Number 12 says, find the area, again, area is length times width. So here is your length, 4x squared, and here's your width, x cubed, all of that exponent 3. So again, there's nothing going on here, so you can bring this straight down. So area equals 4x squared. Here you're going to distribute and multiply, so you multiply your exponent here, x to the ninth. Now you find your like terms. These have a like bases, so 4 is brought down, area equals 4, x and you add your exponents. And 2 plus 9 is 11, so 4x to the 11th is the area. Now you may begin your assignment.